If you're new to campus, you're probably unfamiliar with campus. To an unfamiliar student, it could be hard to navigate. Let's just say this is the entrance way. The Cat Boys football stadium is here. The welcome sign is right here. Wel welcome to Ligma U. Of course, you, you must have seen that on your way in. And Ligma Way here, this is where students, clubs, are gonna hand you out flyers. We, ha we have the dorms here. The, the topography of, of Ligma U is, is we're, we're on the hills. You can't, you can't get away, you have to go around the hills. The pathway leads like this. The student union, the student store, uh, a club or something, it's here. And same thing, the rolling hills, the topography. If you wanna get to the main uh, stadium uh, where most of the classes are held here, uh, you're gonna have to trek this way. This is a map of campus. Enter here. This is the main walkway where people, uh, students will try to hand you flyers. Uh, dorms are over here. And again, the, type, the topography, we're on a set of hills, so you can't go a direct path. You have to go around the hill. And uh, if you want to go to the student union, uh, if you want to register a club or inquire about anything, you got to go here. And this is you know, our football stadium and most of our main departments are in this center area where all, you're all trying to get to. I hope there's not any questions about that. Who did this? Who's cat lover? Is cat lover in here? Huh, you hear cat lover? You think, you funny? You look like if Mr. Crocker got an art degree. What is this? Got, a, got some class clowns, huh? You think just because the class gets a little big that I'm not gonna remember, you're not gonna remember names, not gonna remember faces? Okay, who, who said this? Who's cat lover? Hmm? Okay, okay, come. We will be going over the Monster Girl homework that I assigned last week. There is a lot of discussion. Are monster girls furries? Are furries monster girls? And I, a lot of submissions I've been seeing in the homework, I've seen a lot of people submitting things that frankly are, I don't think count as monster girls. So there is actually legitimate confusion here. So we talked about fursonas. When, when I graded your fursonas, we had some submissions that were like a mermaid. We ended on the mermaid. Some people's fursonas were like just a human body, but like an animal head. And we we're like, what is that? That furry? Because a furry is more of like a homogenous spread of, 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 of the furriness. Are all Monster Girls furries? Well, there, there may be special cases, but like I said, generally I would say no. I believe that it, it, it's about specificity and intent. We talked about it with Lady Demistresque earlier. It might look like something like this. I think furries and Monster Girls definitely occupy very separate spheres and there's definitely key markers to delineate between the two. And there's a very small cross section here that you find they're both. Generally speaking, Monster Girls are a very separate thing than furries. And if you just had to ask me for a very simple answer, I would say no, Monster Girls are not furries. You know, furries are definitely a scale of animalistic nature, but Monster Girls are generally more humanoid. Uh, a little dichotomy here. I think that furries, physically more animalistic. Monster girls are physically more humanoid, but in, in spirit, in practice, in lore, in canon, in the way it's interpreted, in the appeal, the appeal mentally, furries are more humanoid. They just happen to be like physically furry. And, and the appeal monster girls, though physically more human, the appeal is more primalistic, subservient, Argonian maid-esque, like the lusty Argonian maid, you know, having the mermaid in your bathtub, helping the harpy lay its eggs, being tied up by the spider. Do you know what I mean? Like furries, they just, they just smash. They just smash. But Monster Girls, it's more about the lore. Actually, I think the lusty Argonian maid is a perfect example of one that fits in the middle. I think in essence that the furries, it's, they match the physicality of a furry, the appeal of the furry, but the lore aspect makes it more monster girls. The fact that there are lusty Argonian, there are Argonian maids that are servants in households and there's a master uh, servant play going on. That's what makes it lean towards more monster girls. But by itself, just the physicality of it, very scaly, rip, uh, Fursona-esque makes it a furry. Lusty Argonian Maid is one of the few things that fit in both. Examples of things that are only furries, like Lola Bunny is a furry, but not a monster girl. There's no, yes, there's like a Looney Tunes lore, but there's no crossover of, of like Lola Bunny being like, you know, almost fanfic-esque. Like there's no, again, the desire of a hunter, of a primal hunter 
master, servant, or like a pet. There's a lot of like, you know, um, we talk about Monster Musume. The lore of it is that you, it's a cross species hosting thing. The, the, the human is hosting the, the, the monster girl at their home and they're kind of taking care of it almost like a pet, almost like a nursing back a wounded little finch back to health. But Lola Bunny is just like a furry. And some people are like, yeah, I'd smash Lola Bunny. There's no like, there's nothing there except for like the physicality of it. Yes, there's some role play going on, but it's a feeling. It's mainly a feeling and it's kind of hard to describe. A little obtuse, a little abstract, but that, that's kind of like the gist of it. I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself now. Lola isn't a furry, she's an anthropomorphic animal. Purple lemons, good, I'm testing you. Furries are the people that like the anthropomorphic animal. I gotcha, gotcha. I was making sure you were paying attention, but also you know what I mean. Okay, Vinomatic, I found your PowerPoint. We might go through that first. What program do you use to open a PowerPoint? Got it, Google Drive and, and Screen Share. Yep, 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 boom. How do you start file, tool, slide? Is there a, is there a hotkey to start the, the PowerPoint? Like F12 or something? I, I can't, I can't find it. How do you start a PowerPoint? New slide, F5? Why can't you right click and start? Oh my God. Present from beginning. It's control shift F5. I'm not a boomer. What, what is that? Control shift F5? How am I supposed to know that? All right, Venomatic, my fave monster girl. I am not a furry. I want to fuck Candy Kong. She is a monster girl. No ape would have that fat of an ass, plus the fattest tits around town. Even has the fuck me eyes. I love her. She is real to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. A plus. So Dragon Girls. I think in general, Dragon Girls are high tier, for sure. Definitely Monster Girls, in this sense, in this sense. There are some Dragon Girls that might not be Monster Girls. I think it's a contrast, really. A dragon is, historically speaking, a very dominant, aggressive figure, right? Laying waste, you think of Schmaug, of Hellfire raining from above, the teeth. But the contrast with that and, and the cute little waifu, I think is a very good combination. Class, you know my view about the lusty Argonian maid. In this per picture particularly, you can see the fear in their eyes. Not true fear, not true fear, just a glimmer of doubt. Cat girls, I don't know, chat. Are cat girls, what is this, Nekopata? Is this a monster girl? No, it's not. To who, who said Shane Dawson? Calm down, calm down. Don't ever say that again. I don't think cat girls are monster girls. Sheesh. The spider mom from Demon Slayer. Yeah, yeah, you know, I talked about not liking spider, the spider girls with the bottom half of the spider. This is a different kind of spider. You imagine being like, look at her, she's, ah, I'm, oh no, I'm all webbed up. However, is this a monster girl? Let me think. My first instinct is yes. I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't fit my definition of like the intentful, but like demon, not all demons are monster girls, but monster girls can be demons. It just feels like it, doesn't it chat? Yes, it is more humanoid than monster, but we're just asking, is it, could you say monster girl? No spider abilities, she's got the webs. What's more? What's more spider-like than, than this, the, the fucking webs? So is Tobey Maguire Spider-Man a monster boy? All right, okay. Mm, I got a lot of disagreement from class that my analysis of a slime girl was incorrect, that I was being too harsh, that I was being too stereotypical, or sorry, I was stereotyping too much with the slime girls. Okay, upon further reflection, perhaps I was a little quick to judge. I was a little quick to judge. You know, I'm going off of the Monster Musume character, and yes, you did remind me that when exposed to water, uh, Sue becomes larger and a little more sentient. You know, like this picture, for example, the artist is Solomon Imps. This art particularly portrays a very intentful, I can see the intelligence, definitely making it higher on the tier list. However, me personally, how, how solid are they? I know they keep their solid form, but they're goopy. And listen, I need to, it need, how do I say this? When I'm going at it and I got, you know, is, is, is the slime girl gonna slop everywhere and come apart? How solid are they? Cause they need to be, they need to be solid for me to really, listen, I know that, they, that you know, being enveloped in, in the slime, kind of floating in like a amorphous goop of pleasure that I do see the merit in that. But for me personally, 
I need to, I need to go at it. And, and if, if she's gonna, like, if she's gonna lose her form because she's getting, you know, goops flying everywhere, like, my, the, the grip, like, am I, is, is it gonna, like, is my grip gonna, like, is she gonna splooge out of my grip because I'm gripping so hard? That's why, personally, it's still, like, not the best. That's, and that's why I pick centaurs, because a centaur's strong. It can run the race, it can run the track. I don't have to worry about that. Put her in her box so she doesn't lose her form, okay. All right, is that what we're doing? What, you're gonna take an empty paper towel, stuff her in there, and now you got like a, a slime girl flashlight? Is that what we're doing? That's some sick shit. Even I have my line, okay? What, you pop her in the microwave for 10 seconds, huh? That's some sick shit. Jesus Christ, even I have my limits. I, how could I forget? So we have Robert submission here. So we went over Venomatic's uh, uh, PowerPoint video submission from Robert the Red. Uh, we'll be going over this in class. You know, I always appreciate the going the extra mile. Hello, tomboys and femboys of Ligma University. Got him. Today, I am discussing the perfect monster girl. In a previous assignment, I talked about my favorite shonen protagonist and since then I have matured and broadened my okay. horizons okay. okay and I've decided to not just talk about my favorite monster girl but talk about what I believe the perfect monster girl is for us here at Ligma okay. University okay I feel like we need to Get to the soul of Ligma University and look no further than the cat okay. boys. Okay. For I believe every student here is in fact a cat boy. Yeah. <laughs> and I did some research into cat boys. I believe that deep down all of us cat boys are submissive <laughs> and breedable. The monster that I have chosen okay, okay. for us here at Ligma University. And that is the Orc Woman. Very good. Now, very good. Orc Woman, when you first look at them, a very dominating aura. Very good. Them. And I feel like that is perfect for us cat boys because they allow us to be. Some Robert! Did you submit this before my lecture or after? Oh my gosh, he did! You did submit this before the lecture! There's no way! There's no way you submitted this before my lecture. If you don't know, class, in my lecture, at the end of my lecture, I said that the- I mean, you saw the- if you saw the lecture, the video upload, I- at the end of my class, I said that the ultimate monster girl is an orc woman. You are getting an A+. Plus. Is there more- extra credit? So this is an A plus. However, however. Yep. I do see in the background you have a My Hero Academia poster, so I'm gonna have to give you an F. Thank you for the submission though, it's very enjoyable. Is this Rek'Sai? Is this the burrowing League of Legends character? Rek'Sai is female, I do know that. This is just a monster. Where's the girl? I know it's female, but <laughs> this is just a monster. Also, League of Legends is cringe, F. This art is from some, an artist named Fiship. The moth girl, a little milfy, but at the same time, a little like airheaded, like they're drawn to the light, so they're kind of like dinguses, but still like mature. That's a good combination. Airheaded, a little, yes, ditzy, a little ditzy milf action. I'm into it, A plus. Ari Fureta Shokugyo des, Ari Fureta Shokugyo des Sekai Saiki, whatever weeb. Whatever. What am I? A nerd? Uh, vampire? That's not- I don't know. Are vampires monster girls? You know, it's like technically yes, I guess, but like, monster girl is a very specific feel. Also, this image just looks like a girl. That's just like a girl. F. Uh, Meru the succubus. This is Scud Butt's thing, right? <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what the- what is this? What is this from? I don't know. I don't- what- whatever this is. <clears throat> yeah, I, I mean, technically speaking, yes. Succubus is a monster girl, technically, but this one more so because it's got the red skin and with the horns and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like B plus in terms of monster girls. That's a good one. Is this, but this is someone else's art though, right? This is not like 
the 3D model or like the I mean I don't like I don't know what the source might be but you know what the fuck is this Genshin did what is this are you just submitting just random shit this is a Genshin impact character this is just like a girl this is not a monster girl unless am I unfamiliar Oh, it's a kitsune type thing? Okay, okay. Well, we talked about that. I, I think I want to say no. Kumoko from So I'm a Spider, So What? Interesting. I think that's just a monster. I mean, actually, this, isn't, this is not even a monster. This is just a spider. This is not even a monster. Not a monster girl. This is just a spider. F. What is this? Lanita from Sucker of Love? I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need some sauce on that boss. That- that's an A plus. Or actually you did. What did you say? Sucker for love game. That's a fucking A for sure. Sheesh. Don't know if you're accepting androids, but AK-12 from Girls Frontline? What do you think? You think an android is a monster girl? No! Come on. Also, is this an android? It just looks like a girl. It just looks like a human. It doesn't even look like an android. Not a monster girl. Mako from Monster Girl Island. Definitely a monster girl. Are sharks mammals? Are they fish? What's a shark? I have to stay consistent and say that, you know, I didn't like the mermaids. Mermaids were gross because they're fishy. But you're right! There's kind of there, kind of the tomboy, muscular, dominant, milfy-esque. And, and yes, it's, it's not as fishy. A shark is like, yes, they do give live birth. It's a little different than a fish, than like a straight up like perch. They're cartilaginous. They have cartilage. Better. Better than the fish. Better than the mermaid. A. The Mitsutsune from Monster Hunter? That's just a monster. Also, huh? What are you doing? Shivana! I like Shivana. That is definitely up my alley for sure. Like strong, muscular, dominant. Gives off like a Blaziken vibe. The abs, of course. Shivana. Yes, Shivana's a monster girl. You know, Rek'Sai's not a monster girl. Shivana, definitely monster girl. In either form, even in the full dragon form? Yes, because it's the, it's the full picture. It's the full picture, really. Yes, definitely monster girl. Definitely S tier, but League of Legends is cringe, so that's going to be an F. C, we'll give it a C. C plus, C plus. Because yeah, Shivana fits the bill for exactly what I like. Nefer Pito, yes. The, this one slips through just because it's my favorite. One of my favorites, Nefer Pito. Uh, cat girl or boy, doesn't matter to me. The thick thighs. You know when she's when they jump and it goes doom all muscular? Yes, super loyal. Are the cookies from King uh Cookie Run Kingdom monster girls? Is it even a furry? It's a cookie. What are the cookies? Yes, I, I do know about the people that wanna fuck the cookies from Cookie Run Kingdom. Is that furry? Is that even oh my god, we're stumbling upon a new a new discipline, a new realm of study in itself. The cookie fuckers. Are they furries? You- no! They're cookies! Ah, all of you are clearly not in the not safe for work uh, cookie run subreddit. Hmm, you are fools. However, I don't know if this is furry. This is its own discipline in itself. They're gonna make me crumb if you know what I'm talking about. But I can't even give that one a grade. I'm not sure what's going on there. Black Hanekawa from Bo Bake Monogatari. Yes, technically a monster girl, even though I would say not. Yeah, I mean it's Monogatari. Isn't it literally called Monster Girls? We could have a full- listen, you- you- what the fuck is up with you guys in Monogatari? What's with the vampire girl and the fucking snail girl? You guys are some sick fucks. I watched that shit. Best girl has gotta be a monkey girl or a crab girl. Definitely monster girl for sure. I like monkey girl a little better. I'm gonna return to monkey a little bit if you know what I'm saying. Kanbaru. The fuck is this? Monster princess from Adventure Time? Yeah, yeah, there's something there. Get a little bit of everything. A little continental breakfast of monster puss. Get a little bit of everything. A plus. We talked about orc girls being uh, my personal favorite. Also Robert's personal recommendation for the best monster girl. That's an orc girl. Now we're talking about ogre girl? I mean, technically speaking. Fiona though, specifically from Shrek. I can't say it's not a monster girl. Shit. I think you got me with this one. Yeah, A plus. Oh my gosh, it's an A. It's an A+. Plus. Wow, you really got me on that one. That's an interesting one. Fiona from Shrek, A+. Plus.